What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning on in to the Evergreen Motovlog channel. Today, I'm going to be working on my Motovlog helmet setup, and I'm going to be testing out a new, different type of audio setup. So go ahead and stick on around, and let's get into it. All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing some audio and motovlog camera setup changes. Um, but before I get into it, uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for hanging on out. Thank you for stopping on by. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like motorcycle content or Honda Rebel 500 content. I've got tons of it both on the channel and headed your way, so smash that notification bell for future uploads and or live streams. Today, we're gonna be doing an install or unboxing and setup of a new Motovlog GoPro helmet setup because basically what I've been doing is I've been in the past I've had my helmet here and I've got this setup here I got the GoPro mount and basically I've been putting the GoPro on here with the media mod and I've been plugging this uh, audio cable into the media mod well I found online that there are definitely a few different ways. A, a lot of different people have different opinions on what types of audio works, what sounds good when you're riding a motorcycle with your helmet. And you know, I, I like to live life by the philosophy of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So <laughs> one of the common ways or probably the most common way of hooking up GoPro audio to your motor vlogging helmet that I've seen is by using this audio jack here. And uh, real quick, too, if you do notice things a little bit differently, don't be alarmed. I am just filming on my phone currently for this part of the video because I'm going to need to put my GoPro, I only have one of those <laughs> currently, um, on my helmet. So yeah, audio is a little bit different, but don't worry, we'll be back to it in just a little bit. I got the GoPro audio adapter, and the reason why I didn't originally get this and why I decided to try the media mod first was first off because I figured the media mod would be helpful for other situations, not just the traditional moto vlogging where you have your GoPro sitting in front of your helmet. But also I didn't really want this extra piece of equipment, you know, mounted on the helmet. So basically what I've seen a lot is people pull it out and they, they mount it right here on the helmets and then, you know, connect the audio to that and then connect that to the GoPro. And I really wasn't looking, looking to do something like that. After watching a few videos and seeing other people and their experience, I was able to find this small rig GoPro mount that has, ooh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys now, but uh, basically this has a spot uh, under the mount that allows you to slide this piece in there for the audio adapter. So I got a link down below for you guys to check on out. This was on Amazon. And basically, you know, this is your normal GoPro housing, right? And then you have this little extra piece right here. It also comes with a door. So that's nice. It's a little bit annoying in my circumstance because I actually already bought a door, not realizing that this had an extra door, so whatever. But yeah, so you got this piece here, and it essentially allows you to slide this under this housing here. I believe it just clips in one way or the other. Oh yeah, they've got, they have these little lines right here, you know, just so that you know what you need to do. So it kind of clicks, you line up the lines together. Thought it snapped, but this little button here lets you just take it off. So it goes like that. There you go, there's the snap. So now this sits on the helmet like this. It'll actually raise the GoPro view up a little bit. So that'll be interesting to just kind of see the difference. Um, you know, normally my GoPro is probably sitting closer to here so now it'll sit closer to here. So that'll be interesting, that'll be nice. Maybe I can actually see how much battery I have on it. And then it also allows you to slide the uh, adapter in there as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. I do apologize for the messy workbench. 
I just got this, just picked it up from Home Depot a couple weeks ago, and I'm currently just getting things set up. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter for the GoPro Hero 8, 7, 6, 5, 9, 10, and 11. Put your knife back, safety first. Lifetime warranty, you got some instructions. Need those. All right, and the unboxing. So there you have it. Here's the GoPro adapter in all its glory. And let's just see how it's gonna fit. I think it just slides right in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Look at that. Like, there's really no clip or anything like that, so that's kind of interesting. But it's, you know, it's got a little bit of, like, resistance, right? Like, you know, it's not even all the way in there, and it doesn't slide out. So I think I think it'll stay, and then, of course, you're going to have it plugged in. All right, so I got the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I'm going to use the door that they provided as well. It's kind of interesting. This door just kind of, like, sits in there, and then it just pops off. Traditionally, the other GoPro doors I've seen, at least for the Hero 9 Black, have like a little spring right here. So this clips on on the top and then you kind of like pull it out and then like kind of click it in. But this one, it just sits and then just clicks. So I think the only way I've found to take it off is you just pull from the top there. So to open this up, you just press that piece right there there you slide it this way and it pops down i like that it's got a spring because then you know you're not gonna have your door freaking popping open while you're using this randomly click i kind of like this too because it offers the uh, just a little bit of you know damage protection if you do drop your gopro obviously your your lens and your screens are still not protected but you know, all the corners, and it's got some extra areas. And this actually is also, if you wanted to mount an uh, external microphone on top of it, you know, you can click it in right there. But for motor vlogging purposes, that's not going to be needed. So, because this door is designed for this specific purpose of having the um, input, it's got this little hole. So, it does reduce your waterproof ability or water resistance, but... Slide that in there for the jack and rotate it on around. I don't really know the best way to rotate her. Probably better to go this way because you don't want to bend the cord too much and it, you don't want it to be bent towards the helmet because then you might not, you might not have your room right here. So you want, at least as I'm looking at it, probably think it makes the most sense to bend it this way outward even though it kind of sticks out a little bit i don't think i can stick it in this way the adapter's not long enough so that's too bad all right and then next i'm gonna just put it on my helmets and i don't think unfortunately i don't think this is gonna reach it might so like i said it's gonna stick up a little bit right so that's gonna be interesting to see how that affects my my field of vision. It's looking like it's working okay. I usually have just been eyeballing to see how I get my angle. I usually just kind of hold it as if like I was riding. So I'm gonna just go with that for now, just because I don't know with it being taller, if that's gonna change at all or not. I don't know how easy it is to see, but I'm trying to line the camera lens up with like the middle of the helmet. It's always important to check all the angles. Look at that. I'm happy to announce that I did not have to relocate my audio cable here. Got a little bit of play in there, but otherwise looks like we're good to go. The final thing that you want to make sure you do is you want to test the mic out before you get going just to make sure that it sounds good. You know, you want to make sure that the all the connections work. Let's go ahead and try that real quick, see how that does. No clue if you're going to be able to see where it is, but it essentially is tucked back in there. Oh, slotted. So just a couple taps. 
Test. One, two, three. Test. One, two, three. And then just play that back. All right, and I think that looks good. This is not gonna be a helmet setup video just because I needed to do the install and now I wanna go out and check it on the road. So stay tuned. I definitely will be doing a helmet setup. I've got the break free um, helmet light and the Senna 50S. So I'm excited to show those to you guys and just go over my overall helmet setup and that kind of thing. But for now, thank you all for watching. Go ahead and watch for the video where I do a on the road test with this new mic setup. You know, we'll do a compare and contrast video as well and, and just see is the audio better with the 3.5 millimeter adapter or is it better with the media mod? Thank you all for stopping on by. Go ahead, like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the Evergreen Motovlog channel. This is the Evergreen Motovlog channel. Remind y'all to ride safe out there, mind your surroundings, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.